Hello World Wide Web, and what do I have to say about the state of my state? Ha, that was funny. Um, currently, the coronavirus is destroying my state. As of yesterday, we had 668 cases, and we currently had three deaths, and it is probably more than that by now, but I haven't looked, because guess what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and what you don't know can't kill you. So, there you go. At this point in time, we are having a glorious, glorious time sitting in our homes with nothing to do but to be bored. Finally, shut down the beaches. They finally shut down the beaches. It took multiple weeks of people getting sick before for our wonderful governor of the great state of Alabama to completely shut down and close our beaches. Graduation has been canceled. Anything to do with people has been canceled. I'm surprised that the grocery stores haven't been canceled too or the gas stations haven't been canceled. I don't know where you would go anyways, but everything is most likely canceled in my state. Uh, as far as anything to do with being a senior, any event, any sports event, any graduation, party, activity, social event, it is over, it is gone because of social distancing. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay away from people most importantly, and make sure that you stay sane. Hi, this is Nate Kofsek from the YouTube channel Project Brownsville. Uh, here is the beautiful city of Brownsville. It's covered by trees. Uh, you can kind of see it, I guess. My friend, the Virginia farmer wannabe, or Owen, has asked me to give a sort of mini report on what's going on in the state of Pennsylvania in regards to the coronavirus pandemic. The governor, Tom Wolf, he has ordered statewide mitigation. Uh, it's been recommended that gatherings of 10 or more be canceled or po postponed. Uh, as of now, in Pennsylvania, there are over 1,000 cases of the coronavirus in Pennsylvania. I believe the exact figure is like 1,126. Uh, don't quote on me on that though. Furthermore, uh, schools, all schools have been canceled until at least April 6th. Uh, but I do know that some schools such as Brownsville Area High School have been moved entirely online for the remainder of the year regardless of what happens. Uh, all non-essential businesses have been closed. Uh, that order has been enacted or is starting to be enforced rather on March 23rd. So things are not looking pretty good. Uh, eight counties have been put on, uh, have been ordered, uh, have, have a stay at home order. Uh, th those are restricted mainly to the cities. Although it could get worse, uh, things are not looking terribly good as of now. Uh, but the least we can do as, as, as citizens, I guess, is to stay informed. Read up on your state's Department of Health webpage, the government's, the, the main state government's webpage. Check the CDC website to see what's going on beyond the state, your own state. Uh, just stay informed. They're one of the main things that we can do right now, really. And stay at home, I guess. Uh, so, I guess stay safe, stay informed, uh, and also stay active. Don't just take this as a big break, I guess. Learn something new. Uh, good luck out there, I guess. <laughs> I was asked to make a video about how the coronavirus is impacting me and my state, technically. So, for me personally, it hasn't done very much except to keep kept me at home. I mostly do online school as it is, so my classes haven't been really affected. I have had to do all my schoolwork in my room since my dad is now working from home. But other than that, it hasn't been too bad for me but it is hard for us to find certain necessities such as toilet paper, for some reason chicken. Ground beef is actually somewhat hard to find for some reason in our state, don't ask me why. But other than that, it hasn't really affected me too, too much. Um, I will say though, the whole Amazon delaying shipment thing, that that is affecting us a little bit because we use Amazon for a lot of stuff and what they deem to be non-essential will be delayed up upwards of a month in some cases so that is affecting us somewhat but besides that not too much hey guys my name is raya and i've been a washington dc resident for almost 17 years this is my coronavirus covid19 washington dc update because so many people aren't outside, no cars are on the streets, it's very quiet. There's an airplane as I speak, but other than that, I could walk down a main road and not be too afraid of getting run over, which is highly 
unusual for this very busy city. It's a little bit eerie, to be honest, because we all know why it's quiet, everyone's self-quarantining, which ultimately is great because it is to flatten the curve. And so that makes me happy to know that everyone is doing their civic duty and staying indoors. Our mayor, Muriel Bowser, has yet to announce that uh, we are fully quarantined, so I am still allowed outside, but when I do go outside for walks or runs, I do notice that people in here, people go way around, which is excellent because that is what they're supposed to be doing. People recommend six feet, and I have seen a lot of rule following happening in that respect. All non-essential shops have been closed, at least in my neighborhood. There are no clothes shopping, coffee shops, restaurants are only doing takeout, and everybody's really been joining together in a, a group effort, which has been amazing, and it's really beautiful to see humanity coming together in such a way in times of such fear. I don't know, everything's kind of upended. The grocery stores are still open. My dad says that a lot of things are harder to find, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, the basics. So you need to go early in the morning to have any luck at getting anything. Uh, since I'm 18, I myself am not worried about getting very sick, but I am worrying about becoming a carrier and giving it to someone who's elderly or has a compromised immune system or is in the age range that is most affected. Uh, but again, at least here, a lot of people are doing their part. There is hand sanitizer everywhere and everyone I know says they wash their hands day, night, in between, left, right. Good, good, good to see. Flatten the curve, obviously. Virus spreads when people don't know about it. The CDC has has uh, posters everywhere. So everywhere you look, there's six feet, uh, cough into your elbow, you know, follow the guidelines. Everyone in my family has been really good about hand washing. Everyone in my neighborhood has been so they, we really come together. We've had a couple social distancing parties in our gardens. Uh, we don't really see each other. We're far apart. I haven't seen a friend in up to two weeks. I, we did have that first case in Christchurch in Georgetown, which is where I live, uh, that infected a lot of people because as the chain goes, you can infect up to eight people with just one handshake. And that is a very scary statistic. But as we all stay home, and follow the CDC's guidelines, and hopefully once we're there out of this self-quarantine time, everything will go back to normal. Stay safe out there, guys. In times of calamity, in times of COVID-19, and now to talk about Virginia, my state, the state that I'm living in, everything white is gone. Sugar, flour, toilet paper, yeah. Everything white is gone from the stores. The heat replenishing and people keep freaking out and hoarding. I don't know why they think that more toilet paper is gonna help them solve the coronavirus. Maybe there's a magic cure that toilet paper has that none of us know about. Right. As of yesterday, there was a statement from our governor, Governor Northam, to potentially stay indoors until June 10th. Today is April 1st, so no, it's not an April Fool's joke, but yes, we were ordered to stay inside basically until June 10th, which makes me wonder, are we not going to be able to come back for school until August? I mean, when, when does this blow over? So, you know, it's scary. It really is scary. It honestly kind of drives me batty. <laughs> it's too soon to make that joke. In all seriousness, this is scary, and everyone has their own part in observing the health guidelines outlined by the CDC and each person's state website. Follow those instructions, wash your hands, stay away from people, social distancing will help flatten the curve. Stay safe, stay sane. We can do this. Come on guys, we can do this. <laughs>